So a new code editor just showed up and this time it's called the code edit. And if you just look a little bit closer into this, it might seem like Apple Xcode editor. I mean, just from the first glance in here, you might think this is actually a direct competitor to Xcode. Because literally like everything in here looks like Xcode, like from the funds to the UI in here to look and feel, and it will only be available for Mac forever. There's no intention for supporting other platforms because this, this editor is only meant to elevate the user experience of Mac e users and make them feel and work with code like never before. So initially, this is actually what it looks like. It looks pretty good and it looks pretty, pretty well made up like if it was made up by Apple. And yes, if you haven't guessed it already, it's actually fully open source. The whole code is actually available in GitHub and it has almost 20k stars already. And they're saying that the code edit is unapologetically is only for Mac OS. So whether you like it or not, it's not going to support like Windows or Linux or any other platform just for Mac OS. And it's only meant to elevate the user experience of Mac OS users and to make it perfect. So as you guess, it already has like, you know, tons of other features like any other code editor, like code completion, syntax highlighting, snippets, terminal, or more particularly integrated terminal, task running, um, debugging, Git integration, code review extensions, and way much more. And on their mission section in here, they are specifically telling you so code edit is actually the addition of text edit, which is like the integrated like sort of text editor forward slash code editor from you know, on Mac OS plus Apple's Xcode. So initially in here, they're not like competing directly with Xcode just yet. But they have this like on their mission and long running plan, they want to actually be able to scale up to more feature risk experience experiences comparable to Xcode as necessary. So like they want to reach that level of Xcode and make it even better. So talking of which this is actually what text edit looks like. Literally, this is actually what it is. I'm just opening a normal GSX or TSX file in here, like, you know, a react file in here. And this is literally what it looks like it has no syntax highlighting, you can't do any code in with this. So like, usually I never use that one, I just use like VS code or something. But now because there is code edit, I can do something like this. So this is actually what it looks like for code edit. I mean, it has a pretty cool interface, like similarly to any other code editor like VS Code or Atom or whatever, but it's actually pretty good. Like it gives you the code in here, it's pretty readable, has really nice fonts, it has an integrated terminal right over here. Plus, you can see all your files or you, like, you know, open up a project I can usually do like in VS Code. So open up your folder project and you can see all the files like literally everything in there. And of course, you can go on, you know, all the files in here, you can open as much as you want, you can go through, you know, config files, um, GS files in here, they are like, all of them are supported, it supports a lot of languages, a lot of syntax highlighting. And what makes this very special it actually uses and built like entirely on Swift. So like, it has nothing to do with Electron, like VS Code, or most of other editors. So this one should be should be like super flawless, super, super performing, and it doesn't actually eat all of your RAM. So you try to run my Next.js project in here inside of the integrated terminal like yarn dev, and it's running Next.js, it works pretty well. I mean, the integrated terminal is really well, I can just like open up a couple of dark terminals. I'm a big fan of integrated terminals. And what I guess in here actually looks and uses, you know, the standard Mac terminal in here just right over here, which you know, I find like 90% of people already love and enjoy working with that. So of course, if I ever made a change in here and click like, you know, control S for saving, you're gonna have like, you know, reload in here, like uh, almost six seconds. And it comes with the Git version control all like built in and ready to go in here. For example, if you go to this tab, like changes in here, you're gonna find all the changes you can stage, you can commit, like add a commit message on top in here. Maybe one of your branches, you can go on the top in here and like, oh, you see this portfolio thing, you can just go in and click it, you're gonna find all your branches in here. So, so far, so good, because this is still an alpha version. So you can't, of course, expect a lot of it, but their mission is very promising. And the editor in here looks pretty solid compared to, you know, a very early alpha release. And unfortunately, they don't have an extension system just yet, which of course, makes this e editor like almost unusable compared to other stuff like VS Code. I keep comparing it to VS Code, even though like you can't compare it exactly to VS Code, because VS Code is, is far away in a completely different era. So you can't compare that just yet because it's a very first release and it doesn't actually have an extension system, which bothers me a lot. I hope they add this as soon as possible and probably and hopefully as well, make it compatible with VS Code extensions because they have tons of them over there. I don't know if that's possible, but I hope so. 
and have some Figma designs or prototypes in here explaining or like their missions and like what they want to do, um, all the designs in here. So, so far, so good. I mean, as far as I can see in here, they want to like do, you know, search functionality, they want to include a lot of stuff. And if you just notice like the features on the top in here, like there's tons of them, probably like some debugger uh, running in here, there's maybe extensions, because I see a lot of icons, probably some like extensions or packages in here. I mean, it's pretty interesting. It's pretty good. Like there's tons and tons of designs in here. There's so many things maybe like there's an integrated web browser in here just to view side by side while just like running your application in here, you can see the edits in real time and in like in live browser session. So that looks pretty good. There's tons of stuff in here. And plus it actually allows you to work with multiple environments or multiple like programming languages from like, you know, JavaScript, Python, allies like Kotlin, Ruby in here, Java, Go, Rust, Swift, many, many others. So yeah, so far, so good. So I hope to see this editor somewhere in the next year or something. So we can you know, benefit from this. As I'm a big fan of macOS and plus I'm a big fan of new code editor. So let me know what you th guys think about this editor. Just go ahead and try it out. Let me know your thoughts. This isn't sponsored whatsoever, but I just want to like know your thoughts about code editors because I'm a fanatic when it comes to code editor. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Catch you hopefully in the next one.